In English, the meaning of a word can completely change depending on your intonation or stress on a particular syllable. So, here's my top five list of words whose meanings change depending on the intonation. Number one, great. When you say it like this, great, it means wonderful, fantastic. But when you pronounce it with a different intonation like this, great, that means, oh no, this is terrible. Like when your computer screen freezes, great. Number two, that's funny. When said like this, that's funny, it means that's really humorous. But if you say it like this, that's funny, it means that's strange, that's funny, something doesn't make sense here. Number three, conduct and conduct. When you stress the second syllable, it means to direct an orchestra. Steve conducts an orchestra. But when you put the stress on the first syllable, conduct, it means to act in a certain way. Steve conducts himself professionally when he goes to an interview. Number four, object or object. When you say it with the stress on the second syllable, it means to disapprove or disagree with something. I object is a common phrase you'll hear by an attorney during a court trial when the other side says something questionable. Now, if you stress the first syllable, object, the meaning changes to a thing other than a person. For example, what is that object flying in the sky? Number five, present and present. Present means to give. So you can certainly present someone with a present. So always make sure you pay attention to the intonation because one little change of the musical note that's spoken or the stress on a particular syllable can completely change the meaning of the word.